हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप अ वेरी 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 वॉर्म वेलकम टू ऑल इफ यू होप ऑल यू गाइस आर हैविंग अ सुपर डुपर अमेजिंग डे गोइंग ऑन नाउ यू ऑल नो इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे वी आर गोना मेक योर डे अमेजिंग विद दिस क्रेजी सेशन टुडे बिकॉज़ यू ऑल नो टुडेस क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट एंड समथिंग वेरी अमेजिंग ऑल राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वुमेन हु stared at the sun why did she stare at the sun did she really do it so all of that is what we'll be seeing guys and again a very very warm welcome to my session you know who this is this is me mohan master teacher of science from vidantu here today and if you are new here welcome back to vidantu young wonders you know uh, 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 it's good to see you all here in the class today okay so what is happening how's the josh guys hi mamta hi uh, uh, mokshit hi shalini hi uh, yuvika what's up What's up? What's up? And call up all of your friends, guys, because these numbers are not enough. Call up every friend of yours, because of course we're gonna have week quiz after this. All right. And today's class only if you attend this session you'll be able to do the week quiz, because all of those questions are gonna be coming from the slides only. So make sure that you guys all attend the class and then take up the week quiz. Come on, come on, everybody. What's up? Hi, hi, Pari. What's up? All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Yuvika. Thank you. All right. Hi, Chirag. Hi, Ananya. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Chalo then. We'll start. We'll start. We'll start. Great job. So, guys, we all might be wondering, you know, sir, how can somebody stare at the sun? Because when I try to stare at the sun for a few seconds, my eyes for a for a second it goes blind. right and plus not just that you are not supposed to see the sun with your eyes right they always tell you know do not stare at the sun wear some shades or you know don't go in the you know uh, uh, on a sunny day because sun is actually very very you know bright and it hurts our you know nerve cells that are present in our retina but why did this woman chose to see the sun Okay, that is what we are going to be looking at right now, guys. And check this out. Before that, here are the homework, uh, uh, you know, winners for uh, you know the the session where we uh, uh, did about you know the combination of foods, the the uh, type of foods that we should eat during summer. So the homework winners are Pranay, uh, who tells he likes the combination of nimbu pani, that is nimbu plus pani. Wow, I like it too. Come on, who doesn't like nimbu pani? Uh, then Arav tells Chinese inside pani puri. it tastes very good it tastes very good acha have you guys tried chinese you mean noodles inside pani puri <laughs> okay raw tomato fan right right even i eat raw tomatoes okay then we have laddu with sour lassi laddu with sour lassi no i can't i eat pappad in curd rice uh, everybody everybody eats everybody eats <laughs> all right so very well done guys all of you guys if you are here good good so yep Let's go forward. You all know if you are there on Instagram, do not forget to follow me. My Instagram handle is learn underscore with underscore Mohan. So follow me there because I'll be posting a lot of reels. Uh, I'll be you know uh, giving you updates about what's gonna come in the class, you know, in the future. Or I'll also be interacting with you guys. You can also connect to me personally there. So all of that. So if you guys are there on Instagram, do not forget to follow me over there. Okay. Yes. 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 Chalo. So with this level of energy, we'll quickly start this Saturday evening session where we will be seeing about, or we'll be learning about the woman who kept staring at the sun. All right. So here is a very beautiful quote. So life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving definitely. So no matter what happens, no matter how many you know uh, struggles you face, don't stop, guys. Come on, keep trying. So it's like a moving, uh, you know, uh, like a bicycle. it'll only stay you know it'll only keep going if it is moving it'll not be balanced if it is not moving very beautiful quote by albert einstein yes and guys i know all of you guys are waiting for sir when are you going to start the sessions enough enough of all these topics let's start with our how many of you guys are waiting for the chapters to start how many of you guys are waiting for the chapters to start sir start with physics start with chemistry start with math okay universe is waiting okay vanshika is waiting everybody is waiting i know guys i know i know you guys are all you know waiting for the sessions to start and guess what it's going to start from 25th april and nothing can stop us 
after that nothing can stop us because we're going to we're going to learn all of the chapters present in your books like this every concept okay so it's going to be fun filled sessions guys from 25th april so it's going to cover all of your you know uh, chapters from all of your subjects because you know i take physics then we have you have hari priya ma'am sana ma'am you know for math you have amit sir for uh, english you have pratesh sir for biology you have navamita ma'am for chemistry so and so sarbi ma'am for social every subject guys come on see all you have to do is go to your school come back turn on with on to young wonders R- sit here trust me you will get a lot of knowledge all right so that means if you are not subscribed do subscribe it right away because you will miss out all of these amazing sessions so people who are new here hit on that subscribe button and also like this video got it yep so now guys let's talk about this woman who kept staring at the sun so she did she didn't directly stare at the sun because nobody can if you stare directly at the sun what will happen what will happen right you can't like it's too too dangerous you might even lose your your eyesight because sun is very 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 intense you know so strong that it can you know uh, uh, hurt our i uh, eyes uh, exactly right so here we have hisako koyama who was a japanese astronomer who made a detailed sun spot sketches by hand for more than 40 years oh my god okay so she was observing sun and making sketches for how many years 40 years guys and what was she specifically focusing on was the sun spots present on the sun now what are these sun spots okay it's like you know in my face how do i have this acne the dark spots like that even sun has dark spots on its surface all right now why does this dark spots form we will see about it okay and this lady she has made so many sketches she used to observe make sketch observe make sketch for 40 years she completed over 10000 solar sketches in her lifetime 10000 pages 10000 pages of sketches hand sketches okay in her lifetime and observations and meticulous drawings helped to shape solar science and the modern field of space weather so she was like a very very you know uh, a helpful astronomer in terms of solar science that is the the science behind the sun to study the sun she helped a lot her drawings helped a lot she doesn't feel pain in her eye i'll tell you how she can observe it even i have observed sun i have seen uh, you know dark spots when i had a telescope right how do you observe is what do you do is guys you basically you know focus the telescope towards the sun and you should never look at it directly through a telescope you will keep a paper below the eyepiece so the sun's projection is seen on the paper okay the sun's projection is seen on the paper and you see that paper that's it that's it you know guys like this for example have you seen uh, uh, you even during solar eclipse people don't see directly they'll keep uh, you know a plate of turmeric water and they see the sun similarly but here she is using a telescope to project that sun on a paper and she will look at the paper that is how she was able to observe that is how anybody can observe the sun never directly in fact there are filters uh, you know solar filters that people do use on their telescopes to see the sun but way back in those days i don't i think that was that was possible so she was using this projection technique okay so in 1944 this amateur astronomer what does this mean this means that she wasn't you know she wasn't an astronomer astronomer she didn't study for it she was amateur she was trying out okay so this amateur astronomer hisako latest endeavor was to sketch the sun's shifting surface how many of you guys know that the sun's surface keeps shifting it keeps on moving she spent weeks angling her telescope towards the sun and tracing every change she saw with drawings 
Little did she know, these drawings were the start of one of the most important records of solar activity in human history. She did not know. She was just curious to see what is happening. She never knew that her work will be, you know, will be talked like this, will be creating such a huge impact. Isn't that crazy? All right. And these dark spots also keep changing, guys. So that is how you get to know that the sun's surface is actually moving. Got it? Yes. And also in 1944, no, while Tokyo was under the Allied aerial attack, the sirens warned the citizens to remain indoors. So nobody were allowed to go out. Isn't it? So that, that time what happened? Uh, this uh, lady that was Hisako, who was a Tokyo resident, of course, who was around 28 uh, you know, years at that time. She used these you know, uh, times, these dark moments as an opportunity to pursue her passion for astronomical observation. Isn't that good? Guys, what did you guys do in the lockdown? Tell me. <laughs> what did you guys do when you were not allowed to go out? When you were not allowed to do anything else, just sit in the house. What did you guys do? Tell me, tell me quickly in the chat box, guys. Sleeping. Aha. Very good. Play games. Watch TV. Eat dosa. Sleep. Watch television. Eat chips. <laughs> Ayyo. They, did you learn anything new? Huh? Nothing? Ramayan. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So guys, guess what she did? Look at, look at what she did. She observed the sun. And during this lockdown period, I mean, in 1944, because of the war, she observed the sun and wow, now her work is being talked even right now. So use it guys, use all of your free times because free time is something where you can invest yourself into something that might even turn up into your career. Okay. So make sure you guys self, you know, self explore yourself, what you like, what you can learn easily. Who knows? You might start learning piano. And you will, you will, you will become super good at it. You might become a musician. So you never know until you try. Okay. Now, however, her most recent projected, you know, necessitated the use of the daylight because she wanted the daylight, right? By pointing her telescope at the sun, Koyama was able to project the star's light onto the sheet of paper, allowing her to sketch the sun's changing surface. You can see the picture here on the screen. All right. And you can see how she is projecting it on the paper and she's observing it. See like this, like this. Yeah. So if the sun shifts, she'll shift the paper, she'll angle the telescope and then she'll mark the dark, dark spots. Look at the dark spots. So dark spots would be very, very tiny guys. Okay. Look at this. She'll mark those dark spots to understand how this keeps changing. All right. Now, so she spent weeks recreating this setup, every change she saw. Every time she saw, uh, you know, the change, she was doing it. But she didn't know that these drawings were the start of the most important records of solar activity of human history. <laughs> All right. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Super good. Super good. <laughs> right. Week quiz, Hoagie. Of course. Of course, we have a week quiz after this, guys. We have a week quiz after this. All right. All right. Cool. Let's go forward. Yeah. So what exactly Cohen saw on the sun surface? What was she seeing there? Okay, guys, uh, see, this might seem a little, you know, uh, uh, out uh, of what you usually learn because this is space science. You have to be interested in space or you have to listen to get interested to space. <laughs> All right. And we are talking about one of the important, uh, you know, uh, uh, aspect of space that is about solar science. So listen. Okay, listen. Now, we first need to understand what's exactly happening inside the star. All right. So every second, see, sun is a star, right? Every second, trillions of hydrogen atoms, they fuse, they, they come together to become helium atoms. That process is called nuclear fusion. So during this fusion, energy is released. So this ongoing explosion maintains the sun's internal temperature of roughly 15 million degrees Celsius. That's it. <laughs> you guys know water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is 15 million degrees Celsius in the sun. 
and this this much energy is produced because of the nuclear fusion that's happening when hydrogen atoms combine to form helium which is more enough to uh, more enough energy to transform gas into churning pools of plasma it will just vaporize everything all right so plasma consists of charged particles that produce powerful magnetic fields even we have a magnetic field right earth has its own magnetic field similarly sun has its own magnetic fields but since the plasma is continuously you know it's constantly in flux changing alternatively disrupting and amplifying the sun's magnetic field this ongoing movement can produce temporary concentrations of magnetic activity this means that since the plasma is constantly changing the flux is constantly changing okay there are certain points on the sun where the magnetic activity is so high it's concentrated so the places where these magnetic activity in the sun is concentrated they look dark those are the dark spots and they uh, you know they'll be scattered around the sun i wish i can show you guys okay so if you have a telescope i'll tell you how to uh, how to see these dark spots but tell me if you have a telescope now accurately counting the sun spots and tracking their uh, movement we can it can be a challenging uh, uh, task depending on the perception and judgment of the viewer okay so this is precisely when koyama's contribution would be so valuable despite having no training uh, on astronomy her observations and sketches were remarkably accurate because she was observing every day and this is not a easy task guys because you you do not know how it changes in what way it moves nothing because it's sun apart from these dark spots there is nothing you can see there right so it's it's her drawings which helped us a lot then she later received a letter of uh, you know commendation from uh, you know for her dedicated and detailed observations with the support she began to visit the tokyo museum of science where she you, she could use far more superior telescopes to continue her work over the next 40 years she worked on daily basis at to produce 10000 drawings on sun surface okay crazy this is crazy so many so many drawings you guys you guys cry for writing 10 pages ka homework but look at her 10000 pages of sketches <laughs> all right right so researchers already knew that magnetic currents in the sun followed a 11 year cycle so this it's a 11 year cycle guys theek hai that moved sun spots in a butterfly shaped path over the star surface so how does these sun spots move in a butterfly shaped surface like that you can see it here like a butterfly's wing that's how the sun spots move over the sun okay so by using uh, you know her illustrations her drawings they were easily able to follow this they were able to see how this magnetic activity was happening on the sun so by the end of the career you uh, know she had drawn 3 and 1/2 cycles one of the longest records ever made the quality of her drawings were so consistent so precise and the researchers used them as the baseline to construct the past 400 years of sunspot activity from various historical sources okay we are talking about sunspots today because of her we know how it moves how the magnetic activity is on the sun because of her because of her uh, hard work okay crazy so this is one of the drawings which she made see these are the sunspots she observed all right yes <laughs> all right so i know this was a lot of uh, you know lot of lot of uh, 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 theory lot of uh, technical stuff to understand but don't worry it's all simple terms and if you guys have a telescope do project the sun on a paper you will be able to observe the sun spots okay on specific days got it so now are you guys ready to do the week quiz with me everybody ready for the week quiz <laughs> you need to learn drawing from her ready to learn week quiz guys everybody yes 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 or no come on are you tamil yes yes amazing so let's do the week quiz guys but before that before i start with the week quiz there is something even more important i would like to share with all of you you all know what it is it is about the amazing ai live courses now without these slides i'll quickly explain what this is okay so guys what if i tell you your entire academic year ka classes 
you will get it for just 4500 not just classes guess what so much more and i'll show you what that is okay now i want you guys all to look at what i'm doing carefully so you, you are right now in my video right now so scroll down you can find so in the meantime you can join the quiz guys you can click on this link to join the week quiz in the meantime i explain this okay so click on this link to join the week quiz let me present it all right now so guys you can check out the links for AI Live Vedantu courses just for 4,500. Let me click on for grade eight. Whatever grade you guys are from, you can click on that. I'll click on this. Guys, check this out. You will have online classes by master teachers, live in-class doubt solving, whatever doubts you guys have. Every, in everyday classes, it will be solved live in class quizzes and leaderboard leaderboards every day regular tests after every 14 days all india test series assignments in class notes ka pdf study materials ka pdf replay of the classes so even if you miss out the classes you can watch the replay of the classes isn't that so cool now all of this you're just getting it for 4,500 for one year, guys. One year ka classes for all of your subjects that to live, uh, you know, in class doubt solving. 100% doubt solving in the class just for 4,500. Okay. And this is something unimaginable because you will not find this anywhere else. You will not. Even in normal, normal, you know, uh, uh, videos right that people give you it, it is way more costly right but this is actual classes with live in class doubt solving with with study materials with assignments with quizzes with tests lot more things all you have to do is click on that link under the video and then come here select or buy the course this is the ai live courses guys as i told you we'll be having you know uh, online classes by master teachers which are non-live but we have made sure that you know it is you can't even figure out if it is non-life the technology is like that okay then you will have in class doubt solving by master by, by class teachers in all the classes every doubts are clarified quizzes leaderboards assignments and class notes study materials what not okay let's take up the ai uh, live courses okay i'm gonna click on buy now once you click on buy now, if you use my coupon code, which is MK Pro, so everybody MK Pro in the chat box, MK Pro is the coupon code which you can use to take up this course where the price from 5000 drops down to 4500 and you have a lot of option here. Now, this is not for a month, not for six months, for a complete academic year, for one year. Okay, trust me, guys, and you know when the batch is starting, right? Check this out. The batches are starting on 25th, if I'm not wrong. Yes, 25th April. Guys, what are you doing? Take it up right today. 25th, the batches are going to start. And I don't want you guys to be late. And do not forget to use the coupon code, which is MKPRO. Got it? Yes. Also for grade 8, you have JE Need Foundation AI Live courses. For that, the link is here. For grade 7, it's here. For grade 6, it is here. So make sure you guys take it up. Don't miss this opportunity, guys, because you all know. This is, this is crazy. 4,500 for the entire academic year with lots and lots of amazing things. Do it right today. Now, now let's go for the uh, quiz. I hope all of you are ready. Join, join in guys. The link for the quiz is right below the video. Everybody join in the week quiz guys. Come on. I'll tell you where the link is. So the link for the video for the quiz is right below the video look at this you just have to click on this link and take up the week quiz everybody join in come on come on come on everybody join in the week quiz come on and any more doubts guys you know any more queries regarding these ai courses you can always get the advice. You can see the number displayed right here. So you can, uh, you know, send a message on WhatsApp to get details about it. Okay. And the format should be like how it is there in the description. 
okay code please okay i'll tell you the code double two four six five eight is the code guys if you are joining in through www.weekquiz.in use the code double two four six five eight come on come on everybody yes do not forget to take up the courses guys trust me it's very good quick quick guys the link is right here you just have to click on the link to join the quiz come on everybody i am looking golden no <laughs> i know <laughs> you joined in chrome then you know www.weekquiz.in and enter the code 224658 Come on, guys! Come on. Hey, hey, Rahi, what's up? Wanna come? Wanna come? Come on, come on! Quickly join in the quiz. I'll start. I'll start. Let your friends join, guys. Come on, everybody. Thank you, Raju. All right, shall we start? Shall we start, people? you just have to click on the link below the video click on it or you can go to you know google type www.weekquiz.in and use the code 224658 last 1 minute guys i'm waiting for you guys last 1 minute i'm going to start it right away in 5 Four, three, two, one, and here is your. Shall we start? Shall we start? Come on, join in, guys. Join in, join in. I'll wait for one more minute. Come on, come on. I'm giving you enough time to join in. And do not forget to hit on the like button and also subscribe if you guys are aren't subscribed. Right the first question in 3 2 1 here it is Let's go five questions easy questions you can do it Hisako belongs to which place Hisako Koyama belongs to which place where does she come from All right oh my god Bujumbura Jakarta Berlin Tokyo where does she come from Easy question, guys. Come on, easy. Where did the war? Ha- where did that war happened? Do you remember it? Times up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Of course, she is from Tokyo. Very well done, guys. Let's talk. Let's see the leaderboard for today's class. All right, we have Ritu Prana at the top. Very good, Ritu Prana. Then we have Ayush, uh, Yuvika. Hey, Yuvika. Then we have Shubang, Ananya, Vani. Darshan, uh, uh, Dam, Damini, Vanshika, and Shreya. Well done, guys. Good job, everybody. Here is your next question on the screen. Question number two of five. When were the when were the airline attack uh, you know started in Tokyo? When when did it begin in Tokyo? In which year? In the year nineteen fifty six, nineteen forty four, nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety nine. When did it begin? Come on, everybody! Come on. Simple. It was in the year nineteen forty-four. Is the right answer? Of course, guys. Well done. It was nineteen forty-four. Amazing. We have Ayush, Darshan, Damini, Yuvika, Vanshikar, Shubhra, Shreya, Kalash, uh, Madhyansh, and. Uh, Sim Simranjit, very um, well, good job, good job, good job, guys. <laughs> Next question, question number three on the screens. Let's go. The number of sunspots and their activity peak about every dash. What is the time period? They peak about every dash. Five to twenty years, eleven years, eighty years, none of the above. How does this cycle happen? Once in every how many years?
All right, time up. Is it 11 years? Of course, it's 11 years. Amazing, guys. That means you guys have noticed. That's great. Ayush, Darshan, Yuvika, Shreya, Kalash, Shubhra, Ritu, Prana, Kanak, Vani, and Damini. Amazing, guys. Good job. Good job. Here's your next question. Question number four on your screens. What is the internal temperature of the sun? The temperature of the sun. Internal temperature. Fifteen million degrees Celsius, twenty-five million degrees Celsius, thirty-five million degrees Celsius, forty-five million degrees Celsius. Come on, simple. Right, time up. It is fifteen million degrees Celsius. That's the right answer, guys. Good job. Good job. Ayush, Yuvika, Kalash, Darshan, Vani, Kanak, Vanshika, Damini, Shreya, Shubang. Very good job, guys. Now, here is your last question on the screen. Let's go. Dash appears as dark spots scattered across the sun's surface. What appears as dark spots scattered across the sun's surface? Magnetic field, plasma, charged particles, none of the above. What appears as dark spots? We saw this. It's concentrated dash. What is it? It's concentrated. Magnetic fields or plasma. <laughs> it's concentrated magnetic fields in the plasma. Okay. All right. It is concentrated plasma. Very good job, guys. So let's see who got the right answer and who's topping the leaderboard. It's Kalash Pandey. Very good Kalash Pandey with, with, with 4, 6, 8, 7 points. Then we have Ayush and then we have Darshan. Amazing guys. You guys have all done very, very good. Congratulations on getting on, on, the, on the leaderboard. And guys, if your name is not there, not to worry because you all know it's all about the knowledge and the fun. So great job each one of you. Now what we'll do, I'll quickly show you again where the links are for taking up the courses. So click on this link, take up the courses right away because you know it's starting from day after tomorrow. That's on from Monday. So I want to see you in all the batches from Monday, guys. Don't you miss it. Do not miss it. Okay. So guys, yes, I hope all of you had fun learning with me today. It was fun teaching you all on this wonderful, uh, you know, Saturday. And again, I'm telling you, if you guys are there on Instagram, here's my Instagram handle to follow. That's learn underscore with underscore Mohan. And not just that, here is the uh, link to join the Vedantu Telegram group. Join in right away. And uh, the homework for today is, today is Thursday. I came home from a trip three days before the day after last Monday. How many days have I been uh, 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 home? Okay. Now, uh, very, very fun, very, very interesting question. It's for logical thinking. Comment your answers right below in the comment section. You know, the homework winners will get a shout out. Okay. So don't miss it out guys. And do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, like this video. And it was fun teaching you all. We'll definitely meet up in the coming class. So until then, this is me Mohan signing off. All of you take care. Stay safe. Stay as lovely as always you are. Bye-bye.